Emma Raducanu has received a wild card into Indian Wells. The BMP Paribas Open would have had to qualify. Instead, she goes straight into the main draw. And we have the BMP Palabas Open confirming just in. Emma Raducanu has been awarded a wild card into the 2023 BMP Palabas Open. Look at this. Probably what's going on right now. She probably has all smiles and especially everybody in her camp as well. The 2021 US Open champion. She'll be going there to hopefully do better than she has on her previous appearances. It was the first tournament she played after winning the US Open. She did lose on that first match afterwards to Sasnovic. And then the next year, she did. She got a little bit further. She beat Garcia, which is now looking like a really good win. Uh, wasn't really given the credit it deserved back then. And then losing to Martic. She had a bye through the first round in that tournament so it was a third round exit for her there but she'll be looking to hopefully pick up her second win in this year's tournament this has caused a little bit of a ruffling of the feathers around the tennis world saying she does not merit it emma raducanu's wild card at indian wells questioned on social media by calling it a waste and I'm not uh, one of the people who agrees with this. I thought I'd bring it up because there's going to be a few naysayers out there that are saying this sort of a uh, thing about Raducanu. For me, this other tweet sums it up perfectly. Raducanu gets a wild card because she ticks at least three important boxes. She is young, an emerging talent. She is a Grand Slam champion and she is a massive draw. That makes her a tournament director's dream. And by the way, seven of the WTA top 10 are not Grand Slam winners. And there you go. So Raducanu, surely that gives her some claim being a Grand Slam champion. But I did say it at the beginning of the year. Maybe I was a bit foolish to not have a higher in my year end rankings because I didn't take into account how many wild cards she might get. And obviously being a Slam champion, and she is a big draw, she's likely to get more than the average person. This one, another really nice tweet from autistic tennis fans saying, we can't be more than six months away from a fully tour fit Emma Raducanu now. Can't wait. It's fascinating watching her totally unique back to front journey. It's been an education in what it takes to build a tennis player. She's had to do it all in the spotlight. And I couldn't agree more. I mean, it is topsy-turvy. It is back to front. But hopefully we will get to see her go all the way back to that top level again. Last year's champion. There you go at Indian Wells. We know who it was. It's Iga Sviantec. I'm sure she'll be there defending her title as well. It should be a cracker of a tournament. But let me know your thoughts about Emma Raducanu's wild card into Indian Wells. Let me know in that comment section below. And if you haven't already, hit the like, subscribe if you're new and join us for more tennis action coming up this weekend.